Hand clap to the massive brothers and sisters. That was a very powerful one. Welcome to the second reaction video I've dropped on this YouTube platform. Welcome to this uh, Mr. Licks Reacts channel. I do appreciate every single one of you guys for tuning in to this uh, vibrations. Don't forget to click the like button. I would appreciate that. And subscribe so you can get notified when I drop all my videos right there. Click subscribe, click the bell, click all brothers and sisters, and you'll be notified as well as helping this uh, channel to grow further and further in that regard, brothers and sisters. Definitely check the vibrations out in the first comment in the comment box, though, guys. Don't forget to check, uh, to, to check that, vi that vibe. I must stop that. <laughs> Anyways, brothers and sisters, check the vibrations out in the first comment in the comment box, though, guys. And of course, without further ado, let us get into the vibrations for the day right there. Of course, we have none other than NIN, Nature Island News, bringing forth some interesting information regarding some sort of interesting vibes that seems to be taking place in Dominica it's not the first time we have heard certain things like this but of course it's happening yet again of course as you can see July 8th 2024 and of course this article is entitled breaking news lawyer Nordy claims police kidnapped his client from the prison and sent him out of Dominica interesting we've heard of kidnappings we've heard of persons missing we've heard of Persons coming into Dominica, the male Troxy situation, brothers and sisters. Now we hear one completely the opposite that has happened right there. When Mehul Chosky came into Dominica, he was kidnapped. And of course, we're hearing a kidnapping out of Dominica now, which is rather interesting. And of course, Mr. Nordy, Mr. Attorney at Lord Nordy is indicating that sentiment right there. Of course, on 9th May 2020, 2013, two men robbed a supermarket in Will, blah, 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 Curacao. And yes, I guess this took place in Curacao. And um, I guess one of the individuals came to Dominica. And of course, we're going to find out what is tap uh, happening here. A legal battle is presently ongoing at the High Court in Roseau over the decision by the police to deem Quinsley E. Poppin, a.k.a. Giovanni. Okay, we get the point. I don't normally say the names, but I don't know why I did say the names for. Anyways, he was indicated to be a prohibited immigrant. What does that mean, brothers and sisters? He's not somebody that we want in Dominica. That's what they're saying right there. They, that's he's not a, a welcomed. You know when somebody come into your house, but you are not welcomed. Well, that's what they mean by prohibited immigrant, and hence removed from the island. Interesting. Popping, of course. This individual has been residing in Dominica since 2018, 2018, and is the father of two young little ones right there. He arrived on the island of St. Kitts with a St. Kitts passport. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. He arrived on the island on a St. Kitts passport bearing the name, this name right there, which police say was a fraud. However, when questioned by the lawyers of Pope Mr. Nonodon Wayne, this individual right there, he was told that while deportation allows for due process, remember, deportation allows for due process. There must be due process that must take place. Kind of reminds me of the individuals, the, the white folks from the United States, who were deported when he asked, was due process done? Apparently, that was not the case at all. However, of course, that's what we know he is indicating. Deportation allows for due process. And, of course, uh, Popping had a St. Kitts and Navy's passport that was not revoked by St. Kitts and Navy's. He was deemed a prohibited immigrant by the Minister of National Security known as Raymond Blackmore under the Immigra Immigra Immigration Act. A bulletin from Crusoe shows that this individual who now goes by a different name, Giovanni, you know, was wanted for the armed robbery which of course took place where they indicated in 2013 right there all right so apparently he most likely escaped i don't know if that is the case if he's guilty or not brothers and sisters was alleged right there anyways let's continue in that regard right there so i'm Rumbry, according to a letter dated june 20, um, 27 2024 that's well last last month from deputy chief of police lincoln this individual there mister you know please be informed that you were deemed to be a prohibited immigrant by the Honorable Mr. Minister of National Security and Legal Affairs under Section 5 of the Immigration and Passport Act, as you know, blah, 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 and so forth, of the Commonwealth of Dominica. Therefore, you are to depart the Commonwealth of Dominica with immediate effect. Now, if they're saying he needs to depart with immediate effect, and it seems like, based off this title right there, uh, Lawyer claims police kidnapped his client from prison and sent him out of Dominica. So apparently due process was not done and we know he is not happy about that sentiment right there according to the court documents the accused man was arrested on june 21st 2024 
and charged with the offense of battery and breach of protection order. So he probably most likely did another sort of crime. He was taken to court in Marigot on June 26, 2024 and pleaded not guilty. No application was made for bail at the time, hence he was remanded at the Dominican State Prison and the matter adjourned to July 19th, 2024. That is in about 11 days from now, brothers and sisters, which is interesting. How oh, they are having court case and then they deporting people. I don't understand this at all, but hey, um, it is what it is. However, at 6 a.m. on Friday, June 20th, that was about 10 days ago, uh, more or less, he was taken by police out of the prison, brought to the airport, and placed on a flight to St. Martin. At the court hearing, acting police chief, this individual, the Valerie partner again, boy, the Valerie partner I was talking about, you know, amnesty, but if you bring your, your, your ammunition during the amnesty, you still get charged. <laughs> wow, that's incredible, brothers and sisters. Um, you have a set of... Uh, let me leave that dear Lord. All right. Answer the question of Justice Colin. You know, stated that the individual in question was not deported. Hmm. At the court hearing, acting police chief, this individual, in answering to questions from Justin Colin Williams, stated that the individual that they apparently took out of the prison was not deported. And on the day that he was escorted by two police officers to the airport, <laughs> so they take him from prison, they escorted him to the airport, but he was not deported. He agreed to be allowed to depart and the state purchased this ticket. <laughs> Yo, all you the best thing I ever seen in my life. We, only, but it's still possible at the same time. It's still possible right there. Whether I should stay in prison, face the consequences, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, let's see what Nodi has to see. Of course, we Nodi stated that authorities of the court was, but apparently they should have told the lawyer. Interesting. This is where it gets tricky because you have a lawyer that's representing him and the lawyer has no clue about this. So they took him, brought him to the airport and apparently they purchased this ticket for him on the agreement of the very individual himself. So he was not deported. So you take him from prison without informing his lawyer, but somehow he was not deported. <laughs> All right. Anyways, lawyer already stated that the authority of the the authority of the court was flagrantly disregarded by police and prison service. My client was not afforded due process in terms of how this en entire matter unfolded. Yeah, he should have, you know, you know, whether he's guilty or, or innocent. He was kidnapped by the police from the Dominican State Prison. The police presented a warrant to bring the client to court at 9 a.m. I feel very passionate about the role of the police that is to protect ah. also there must be respect for the court process well you know i mean that has happened before business you don't really care about the court process not true <laughs> correct me if i'm wrong i mean this has happened before isn't it i mean <laughs> the grog family brothers and sisters not true anyways he's indicated that there must be respect for the court process and rules especially when persons are in custody same sentiment to prison services Anyways, he was taken from prison at 6 a.m. and brought to the airport on Friday morning. He begged the police to contact his lawyer, but they never did. So apparently he must have contacted him after he was not deported. And he told him, he begged to contact the lawyer, uh, but they never did. Shouldn't that be done? I mean, the representative should, police just want to act however they want to act. But I think they're trying to lessen the amount of court cases that they have by just deporting people brothers. i think that's i think that is what they're they're clearly doing right there they don't want to face the consequences or whatever whether it's true or false in that case you know it's him having to prove his innocence but you know it seems like they don't care there's deport people blah, blah, you know anyways but it's indicated right there he begged the police to contact his lawyer but they never did as the court said this is a this is scary and must stop Hmm. As the court stated, brothers and sisters, this is scary and must stop. Hmm. Now they also explained that the cost, uh, con, uh, commissioner of police claimed that his client consented to his removal from the state, but the facts presented in court and what his client says shows otherwise. I intend on taking this matter to the highest court. And we are also making efforts to so no problem for Dominica. <laughs> no problem. Win Nordy only playing with you only forget win Nordy. 
<laughs> we know he was also my lawyer, you know. <laughs> Anyways, well, he played with Wayne Steel. He played with Wayne Steel. During this, during his time in Dominica, he was employed as chief security officer at a hotel on the island. And the officer of the, remember, he has to support his two little ones. He has two little ones under him that he has to support. Who is going to support them now? Does the state have child care services? <laughs> Anyways, the office of the Attorney General has already conceded and is to make submissions to the court after which Justice Williams will deliver his decision in the matter. I see they have a video there. What's, what's going on there? Oh, so there was... I didn't prove this on national investigation list. That's the correct. That's the medical dating, eh? Casablanca. This is in Curacao. So apparently, this was back in 2013. Um, it seems like this video is. Uh, what's going Anyways, before YouTube come for me, mind me, please, YouTube. In the process of his wife, he has his moment of 42 years of age. Anyways, guys. The man in the pink polo, the other one. Do you know where Quincy Poppins? I'm guessing this is the individual that was. That's him. And who recognizes the other robber? So, this was a matter that apparently happened. They have them on video. I'm not sure, like I indicated before, it could be alleged what situation that has happened there, but what are your thoughts on this, guys? What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that due process should have been done? Do you care? Hey, he seems to have been doing some crimes in other countries and come to America. What? No, one of the robbers shot and... Ooh, uh, that. What are, what are your thoughts, guys? What are your thoughts? If that is actually him in that regard. But he's back to St. Martin. I think last residence, no, that is curious. So the, the incident took place. It's interesting. So his last residence was St. Martin, right? He's from the Netherlands, Curacao. But he has a St. Kitts passport. And he lived in Dominica. <laughs> And his brothers and sisters, what are your thoughts on, on what took place there? Do you care? Do you like, oh, let's get rid of him, that's fine. Or do you think uh, court matters should actually happen where they have proper due process so that they can clarify his name? Apparently, he, the, his thing, there was some situation with him on the basis of, of battery, I think. Where, where, is, where is that? Where is that? That's how you can say battery. Yep. Battery and breach of protection of a protection order. So I don't know, brothers and sisters. What are your thoughts on the whole thing, right there? It's one thing where you say, okay, he have his dirty ways. I wonder if that is him alleged to be him in that regard. He might have his dirty ways. Come to Dominica, whatever. Um, you know, but the process should be done. Should you do you think the process should be done? Oh, hey, that's the poorest people. You don't know. They come and bring the chaos. The poorest people. You know. But apparently he was a security officer, <laughs> which is the interesting part here as well. So that self is another conundrum. And his brothers and sisters, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts right there? Leave your thoughts in the comment box below. There's also something I had to point out I did not get to point out, brothers and sisters. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about right there. Hold on. And guys, this is what I'm talking about right there. This is very, very interesting. When you come, when you think of it, right there, brothers and sisters, as you can see, the title: Antigua provides a hundred thousand U.S. dollars in bottled water and other aid to Saint Vincent and Grenada, brothers and sisters. Let me read that again. Some of you probably don't understand what I'm saying, right there. Antigua, the place that doesn't have rivers at all, is then providing a hundred thousand. US dollars, about half quarter million EC dollars, brothers and sisters. Quarter million, just above a quarter million EC dollars in bottled water and other aid to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Now, brothers and sisters, I remember flying, you know, flying 
on sunrise so if you guys saw that video it's on mr x vlogs you can check it out right there now i flew in sunrise brothers and sisters and they gave me a bottle of water and i check in let me see what that is brothers and sisters the bottle of water coming from antigua <laughs> you know antigua and myself you know you come from dominica going to antigua you will say oh they'll give you some twapito you know dominica 365 rivers twapito you know oh, different varieties of twapito brothers and sisters apparently not the case at all Antigua water I drink on plane. <laughs> no, brothers and sisters, I went somewhere again. From that place to another place. Send kids. <laughs> they give us a different type <laughs> of Antigua water, brothers and sisters. You want brandies? Antigua have several brands of water and they have no river. <laughs> so ask me where they get the water to provide Grenada and St. Vincent with a hundred thousand us dollars of bottled water and aid a number of persons were asking me must miss licks what is the government saying what is the government well what aid is the government going to be provi providing for 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 for, for grenada and st vincent and the grenadines in places that were affected by the hurricane i don't know i cannot tell you you guys help me understand leave that in the comment box below i have asked that question before nobody seems to know so um i've also know a number of persons who are planning to do boxes here and there to send down um you know as a result of that but we don't know what the government is doing but just to think of it antigua <laughs> you know antigua a place that have rivers but dominica claims it has 365 rivers we've seen rivers around so we know dominica have rivers whether it have 365 rivers or 20 rivers it have rivers antigua they have no river brothers none no river at all brothers and sisters but they, I, I remember having two types of branded Antigua water. Yes. Yes, man. And then you would wonder, brothers and sisters, what on earth is going on? Why Dominica cannot elevate when Dominica has resources and materials that it can actually be used to push and make surplus come in? I say to push and make surplus come in, brothers and sisters, income. But Antigua has decided to do that. So it's not only... You know, sending out what I and mean, keep in mind, this is just stuff it's sending out to help. <laughs> that means it has more inland, it has more water inland, brothers and sisters. And a place like Dominica that flows with 365 rivers give more or less. <laughs> we apparently don't seem to be able to even have two bottles of water. Antigua have two bottles. I see it myself. Nobody come in and tell me. I see Antigua water in Dominica, I see St. Vincent water in Dominica. I don't see it overseas. I don't see no Dominica water overseas, no way, brothers and sisters. But they give us Antigua water on plane, you know. You would think that a land that flows with so much water would be the one top notch. But when you have incompetent leaders leading the way into incompetency and furthermore, poverty, brothers and sisters. And people will still clap. <laughs> Antigua is sending. I, that, I still have to say that again. I have to say that again. Because I cannot believe what I am hearing. Or even hearing from my ears. But Antigua is sending a hundred thousand US dollars. Of bottled water. Not from Dominica. Not from St. Peter. Not from nowhere else. But Antigua have the water. <laughs> Seems like they have found a way for them to remove I suspect it's osmosis or, 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 or whatever they're calling it. They're removing it and they're cooling the water again and they're probably doing it again and they're cleaning the water. All these things, brothers and sisters, mark you. They're doing all that and it is still cheaper than Dominica water. We don't have to do osmosis or none of them stuff there. It is still cheaper than Dominica. One bottle of water, brothers and sisters. We had two. We had Lubia and we had Twapito. Ask me where Lubia go. I don't know. Maybe Lubia was tainted. I don't know. But, brothers and sisters, you know, Antigua is sending quarter million dollars worth of bottled water need to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Well, so when me saying these things, brothers and sisters, you don't think me know what me saying? Huh? And all you don't realize in, but wait a while, but Mr. Lex, why are you saying they're making sense with me? Well, People just tell me that way, and they'll still tell me they're going to vote for the same thing that preventing them from striving. It's interesting. I met an individual in an Antigua, brothers and sisters, and they were so happy. 
so happy. He say make a little money here and there. Nothing he could never do that in Dominica. Making his money here and there and I'm happy that he's able to. And not just him now, there are more Dominicans there working too. He. I met another one too. He. Dominicans I know in the very Portsmouth itself. Boy, in Antigua. <laughs> okay. Let me know your thoughts, brothers and sisters. Let me know your thoughts in that regard on both merits, on this individual, the situation with him, and um, on Antigua Water. I would appreciate that right there. So, but Miss Licks, we sign out here for this year vibrations check out a previous one i did that link will be in the first comment in the comment box below as well as the latest podcast on brbp tv um a podcast uh playlist brothers and sisters also tune in tomorrow i'll be doing a highlight vibrations or oh, when well, a highlight vibrations we'll be going through the the live interaction with the um the people's parliament parliament brothers and sisters that took place involved in electoral reform and free and fair elections but and sisters last people don't people don't know eh? people don't know eh, boy <laughs> I sweat in night I sweat in there something is wrong with humans boy something is wrong with humans same thing I see in Dominican Labour Party people Labor rights, not all of them, you know, but those that just take Calbas, man. The same thing I see in is the same thing I see in Democratic, the Democratic Party in the United States. Same, same thing, same thing. Man, destroying the economy, we both places, we US, the man destroying the economy, we inflation like whoa. The man lion says two, three percent, then the government says eight percent when you do check. When you look at the value of back then and you look at the value of now, when inflation started to rise, 20% inflation. Dominica claims, well, not claim, but that's actually true. Dominica imports inflation. But we wonder why prices is going up like crazy. And then you have to pay on top that pot duties. So you have to pay. <laughs> you man's boy. 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 Ah. Our father help us. And it seems like they are making a concerted effort to make humans most more foolish, me boy. Yes, man. I listened to a girl speak, brothers and sisters, and she was so convinced. She was saying they to ask her to, to give a fact. Ask her to give a fact, you know. She said, a fact. When you see the gaslight on your on your vehicle, come on. It is meant to gaslight you. We. That's what she said, we. A grown adult, not a little child, grown adult. She said, when you see the gaslight on your dashboard, come on. It is meant to gaslight you because your vehicle will not stop. So it's gaslighting you to make you afraid, brothers and sisters. <laughs> she said, and she said herself, it will eventually stop, but it's meant to gaslight you to make you afraid. Then the guy on the side stated to her, the reason why the gaslight come on is to let you know that your gas is running low and you need to fill it up with gas as soon as possible. And she was flabbergasted by that. Oh my goodness. Sooner or later, reaching Dominica, I think labor rights are already there. But then when it comes down to normal understandings, you know, simple common sense, brothers and sisters. Hey, last common sense is gold. Gold that day we boy. Just to have common, just like when they're talking about people going to Red Cross and giving, you know, the thing that inside your, the red thing that inside your body. And they tell you, if you inject it, you cannot give. They don't want that. Precious, your blood is precious. Common sense is no precious, but hey, last. Hey, well. Anyways, brothers and sisters, let me go and drop that video for you guys. <laughs> so you guys can definitely get the vibrations right there. What are your thoughts? If your thoughts in the comment box below, I would appreciate that. And of course, subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get the latest vibrations when they tend to come through. Right there's a moment since once again. Be real, brothers and sisters. Salute the king always. Be positive.